Good evening, everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I'm probably the only channel on YouTube right now that's not going, Whoa, well, please, please, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, because it'll share my video everywhere. Why won't I do that? Well, I'm going to tell you the exact reason why. <clears throat> the reason why I will not do that is because uh, it's nice when you subscribe to me, it's nice when you like my videos, but it's not going to get my videos shared anywhere. There are two things that can do this, and I found this out from Daryl Eves and Roberto Blake, and those two things are as follows. Number one, watch this video all the way to the end, and that will increase the watch time of the video which YouTube definitely pays attention to. And secondly, leave me a nice comment in the comment section below. Why? Because YouTube is trying to determine if my videos are going to cause you to stay on their platform. And there are only two ways that can be done, and I just told you the two. There you go. All right, in the meantime, I wanted to let you guys know that... Uh, I have published five Kindle books. They're five bucks a piece. If you're interested in them, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll send you a link, and you can buy them. Okay? Alrighty. So, why would you want to know any details about the Courier font? Well, if you've ever used it, you'll probably want to know a lot of stuff. Alright, so... We got to talk about a guy named Howard Kettler. Whoops. I'm mispronoun uh, mispronouncing. I'm misspelling his name would be a lot more like. Howard Kettler. Who in the heck was he? Well, he was the guy that created the Courier Fought back in 1955. He designed the font for the International Business Machines Corporation. Does that sound familiar? Hmm, I wonder if that sounds familiar. Oh yes, there was that little guy that invented that machine that um, was able to successfully process all those multiple choice tests. You remember that video? I bet you do, because I just recorded tonight. But it's unclear if he was if he was one of their employees. I'm not really sure. I, I tried to find it out, and it, I couldn't find it. He initially planned to call this font the Messenger font. But he decided that the name Messenger was not fancy enough for his font. So he decided to call it the Courier font. Now, the name Courier comes from the Latin verb Courier, okay, Courier, which means to run. At this point, you may want to ask yourself, if this is a fast font to create. Mr. Cutler didn't copyright the font, so it's in the public domain. It has been used in many screenplays. If, if you want to tell me a little bit more information about the Courier fonts, go ahead and leave comments in the comments section below. If you want to tell me anything else, leave comments in the comments section below. In the meantime, I want to thank you very much for watching this particular presentation, and I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.